Hi everyone. While working on the design for a language learning application, we noticed that similar apps have super complicated techniques for remembering words. Since this is a startup, we made it a top priority for design and interaction not to slow down the user, while still adding some fun gamification. Let me just add, this is not a fake animation, and the source code is available on our GitHub. As always, everyone is concerned about how the poor developers will be coding. Now, let's roll. I begin by creating a prototype in Figma and marking the main functional elements. I draw the back button since there are screens before this one. I add a header. Now I'm creating a card that will be part of the general carousel. Each card has a word to memorize and a transcription. I'm marking the icon for listening to the word. A super important step for us is to hide the word that we're trying to memorize and get a peek at. So we're concealing this info behind another button. I'll show other cards to the left and right. The user immediately understands that the cards have to be swiped in order to see other words. Now let's design what the screen looks like after you hit the drop down button. There's room for a sweet effect here. The highlighted section of the card will show the word translation with an example of how to use it in a sentence. Every card gets a color. The drop down button will be separated from the card with a bit of shadow. Looks like it's hovering above. Let's increase the font size for the words on the cards. We can make it dynamic depending on the length of the word. In place of a square, I'm going to draw the complete speaker icon.
I'm transferring all changes to the second screen. Let's check once more how all the elements are placed and our UI is all set. Let's open the AEUX plugin to transfer the design sketch to After Effects for animation. I select the folder where we'll save the exported image. Let's do the same for the second screen. With the layer reference, I make sure that everything is where it should be after we exported from Figma. For the top card, I select Convert to Bezier Path. In the back, I'll place a closed card as a reference and add the second keyframe to the path for transforming the card. We started up and see the draft version of our animation made up of two keyframes. Now I'll make the second card below disappear up behind the first one. It'll be as though it dissolves into it. I select the lower card layers and attach them to the null object layer. Now I select the null object layer, hit P and create two keyframes so that we end up with the upward shift beneath the top card. Let's highlight the card layers again and move them down. I'm making another null object layer, but now for controlling the position of the drop down button. Now I'll make one last null object layer for controlling the upper card layers. Let's check everything and see the simplified version of our animation. I select all keyframes and adjust the animation speed. I haven't forgotten the drop down arrow. It will turn when you tap the button.
let's add some liquid effect for the cards. I'm selecting two layers with the card background and moving it down. Let's use the rectangle tool to draw rectangles of different widths between them. Now I'll select all the rectangles with the card background and do pre-compose. Let's move down the resulting pre-composed layer so it doesn't obstruct the other layers. I copy the keyframe positions from the bottom card and apply them to shape from the pre-composed layer. Since what we have is one card tearing away from the other, I'm imagining how it would appear in reality if, for instance, I took a piece of chewing gum in my hands and tried to tear it in two. The area of separation first has a thick connection, and as the sections are drawn farther apart, the connection becomes thinner and finally tears. That's the effect I'm looking for. And I'll make it happen by setting the right timing on the scale parameter. We end up with something similar to the effect we want, but it looks crude and lacks flow. Let's back up, select the pre-composed layer and apply roughened edges effect. Setting the border parameter to 70. Fractural influence to zero. What an improvement. Now the card separation reminds me of gum. Let's add the levels effect and select alpha channel. How about alpha input black so that the edges are smooth and abrupt? In my case, that'll be 255. Now we add the fill effect and change the color to our purple. I redo how the text vanishes on the bottom card.
our animation is complete. With a job like this, I doubt anyone else would have to put in so much effort to create similar stuff, but it's a great example of how your work can be more professional and stand out from the mainstream. Meanwhile, you can work on several skills at once in just one case, and that's definitely worth it, assuming you can make time for it. And if you don't, well, then keep hacking away at boring UI. Bye for now, until next time.